Hey everyone, Elizabeth here with this week's episode of Anime Cons TV. This week we're going to be talking about making stencils for your costumes. And we are going to be making stencils using freezer paper, which you can buy at the grocery store or Walmart or anywhere else. You can buy aluminum foil, plastic wrap, things like that, because that's where you can find this. So freezer paper has a plastic coated side that has just a little bit of plastic so where when you heat it up with an iron, it sticks to your fabric just enough to create a barrier that the paint can't pass through. Now, for this technique that I'm gonna show you, you can really only use it once, maybe twice, so it's not a good technique if you need to make like a million of the same uh, like flower on something unless you cut out all those flowers of the fabric. So if that's what you're looking for, this one this won't be it. But if you're making a like a big motif design or something, this will work out really well. Uh, you can use it on um, on t-shirts as well, so if you want to make your own t-shirts, either for a costume or just having fun at a convention, this is a really cool way to do it as well. So I'm going to get started and show you how it's done. You will need razor paper. You can buy this at grocery stores, Walmarts, probably targets um, in with like the aluminum foils and saran wrap things make sure it's freezer paper not wax paper not parchment paper you will also need a sharp craft knife or an exacto knife to cut out your design you'll need a design I just drew this around um, a wooden shape that I had but um, you can print something from online or design something in um, Photoshop or Illustrator and print it out. Whatever you need, you need a cutting mat. You will need some fabric to put your design on. It can be a piece of fabric that hasn't been cut out yet, is cut out to what you need, is sewn to what you need. You need a pen or a pencil or some kind of writing utensil to draw out your design on the top. You need some cardboard to put on the underside, especially, especially if you're doing something like a t-shirt so you don't want it to bleed onto the other side. You will need um, a brush. I'm using a foam brush for this. And you will need fabric paint. Um, I'm using Tulip Soft Matte. Um, I like this brand. I also really like Jacquard. Um, so you can go with whatever you can find at your store. So we're going to get started with these. Oh, and you also need an iron. And an ironing board. Almost forgot. Alright, now we can get started and start making our stencil. So this is the freezer paper. I'm not sure how well it comes up on camera, but there's a shiny side and there is a dull side. You want to dry your um, your stencil onto the dull side and you'll be cutting from this side. This side, the shiny side, is going to be what's ironed onto your fabric. So we're going to start it with drawing our design. Just going to put it underneath. You can see it shows right through. You can print something off. You also need a pen to draw it on. <laughs> you can also print off something online. Maybe design something in Illustrator or Photoshop or find something that you want to do. Now, if you have shapes within shapes, like say I have this circle here that I don't want painted, what I'm going to have to do is draw some connecting lines. I may not do all these. This I won't cut. So when I cut the circle, when I when I cut away from here, I'm going to leave some spaces so it'll keep this in the middle here. You'll see that when I cut it out. So I'm just going to cut out.
of our finished cutout design, I left these two pieces here to connect the center because I don't want the center filled in with paint. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to iron this onto our fabric. Okay, and my stencil, cut away the excess freezer paper so it wouldn't be in the way. Now I'm going to iron it onto my fabric. Now because I drew the design and cut it from the dull side, it means I'm ironing on the shiny side. And what I'm doing is I'm just going down on top of it and pushing down. I have it on my highest setting because I am using, I have a cotton. Please that hair go. I'm just going to kind of touch it a little bit around the outside to make sure it's good. Next, I'm going to take my paint, put a little bit in my tray, which is my dollar store plate. Grab a brush and start painting. <laughs> all set. I'm just going to let this dry for a couple minutes and then get back to it and see how it looks. Okay, now this has had a moment to dry. We'll pull it away. Now we have our little flower. So where those little marks were to keep it together I should probably get a smaller paintbrush for this, but I'm just going to fill that in really quick on both sides. And then you can freehand any other fill-in details that you want. Um, and then you also want to follow the instructions on your fabric paint to um, heat set it, usually with an iron. So follow those instructions to finish up what you need with your stencil. Those are the basics of how to create a stencil using freezer paper, uh, using fabric paints and freezer paper you can buy at the store. So uh, if you use this technique in the future, if you've used it in the past, please show us so we can see and share the awesome work that you've done. If there are any other cosplay tutorials that you want to see going uh, in future episodes, you can let us know as well. We'd be happy to tackle those for you. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye.